I know you want a healthier body And you want to ease your soul, ease your soul. So here's some medicine to heal the world So grow with herbs for health Welcome back to another episode of Earth for Health on today's video, I'm going to be talking about rebuilding your health. Now, I know there are a lot of people who are now getting into um, doing healthy things or incorporating exercises and things like that into their life because they want to become healthier. Now, people have their many, many, many reasons on why they want to um, rebuild their health or build their health and we're going to be talking about some of those things today let's get started okay so when we talk about rebuilding our health there are a lot of things that we must keep in mind I'm going to talk about a few of those things okay now the number one thing that you must do before going forward with rebuilding your health is keep a healthy positive mindset your mental attitude towards building your health now i made a video talking about having a healthy attitude and i explained a lot in that video um, so go ahead and check it out if you would like to hear about that but a healthy mental attitude towards building your health is what is needed. Now, I can speak from my own experience. When I wanted to change things about my weight and my health in general, I thought about all the positive outcomes that I would have if I was to stick to something and be consistent. And Though things did get hard, I often just kept in mind of the end results, what I wanted to achieve, and the things that I wanted to see. Now, you must, must tell yourself while you're going through rebuilding your health that you can do it and that it is worth it. Because you're going to face some hard times, you're going to... Um, come across some things that are difficult. So if you're looking to build your health and you, you say like, okay, I wanna eat healthy. And you know you're used to eating a certain type of food or eating a certain way. Sometimes we get discouraged and we're not open-minded about trying different foods or you know, eating this type of food because it's needed. Sometimes when it comes to food, you have to eat things that you need instead of eating things that you desire. So you have to have a healthy mentality when going into this thing. So you have to check that first because you can fail very easily. And that's going to come from your mentality, your mental capacity to keep on going when it gets tough. Now I have note here, notes here, so I'm gonna be looking down because I do want to make sure you get all those points. So that's number one. Now, the second thing, we want to promote, you know, a healthy lifestyle. Now, when you talk about lifestyle, there's plenty of things that fall under that category of lifestyle and health is one of those some people say well my lifestyle consists of buying fancy things or my lifestyle consists consists of me and being me being social well your lifestyle is it has a lot to do with your health so if you're a person who participate in a lifestyle where you're constantly out and drinking you're constantly around negative people 
um everything is just so toxic around you that that's just your lifestyle and that's what you're used to and some people are not used to even seeing um positive people or seeing different um things go on in life because they're so used to a particular lifestyle so when it comes to rebuilding your health you have to also rebuild the lifestyle that you live so if you're a person who don't sleep you're out all night you're up all night you're partying you're drinking you're smoking you're around negative people um, you're consuming your time with things that just doesn't matter um, you're not you're, you're being lazy you're not getting up out of bed you're not doing anything that is fulfilling in life you're you don't know um, who you are as a person or you don't know who you like and you don't know that there's other type of people out there in the world and you don't know that you can benefit from an abundance of information if you do open up your mind so we need to have a healthy mindset when going into this that was number one and we want to promote a healthy lifestyle so when you're going into creating a healthy lifestyle look at your environment sometimes you can change your environment and sometimes you can't so you have to think about what can i do to to change my environment or if i have to suffer in this environment that i'm in now i know that this suffering is not going to last so long so we need to create a mentally healthy mindset when we're in a place where we really can't change at the moment you have to keep thinking i'm going to keep making these changes until i'm in a different environment so you want to start with that then think about the people in your life now listen this is a lifestyle you have people who are very negative and very toxic you're gonna you have people who are going to hold you back from a lot of things so you have to consider the people who you are around because believe it or not when you're building your health people can drain your energy people can also make you sick as well people can wear you out people can make you worry and you don't want to always be in a situation where you always see this person always with these group of friends and you are constantly feeling stressed out that is part of your health so if you're in this environment or you're with these friends who's making you feel stressed out or this person who's making you feel stressed out you're going to have to remove them because you're rebuilding your health and you have to remember that now let's talk about how you may uh, have lived your life going out all the time smoking and drinking or whatever it is that you do that you know is not good for your body you're going to have to t stop those things you're going to have to choose your health and your life over these things that are basically killing your body each and every day now you may think that you're living a good life and that you feel good but i'm coming to tell you this now when you try to stop um smoking or drinking or whatever it is that you're doing you're gonna see just how hard it is and then when you're going through this um, motion of quitting to uh, quit these things, you're going to also feel bad because your body has become so used to these things. So now you're going to feel the effects of this toxic um, thing that has been in your body for so long. You're going to get those out. So this is where that mental strength has have to come in 
you're going to be letting go of something that has comforted you for so long that you have not changed. So rebuilding your health also gets you out of your comfort zone. It takes you out of your comfort zone. Now, the lifestyle part of rebuilding your health is very, very in depth because there's so many things that uh, we do in our lives that we um, do that creates our lifestyle. So if you are a person who is not used to moving and you have to now get up and move, that involves walking, exercising, uh, maybe even running if you want to challenge yourself. Um, you have to get up and start doing these things every day so that you can get used to it and that it becomes a part of you. It becomes a part of your lifestyle. You know, there's so many people who sit down, who sit in their bed all day, who sit on their couch all day, they don't do anything. And this has become a part of them. And you are, um, if you do these things, you are at risk of getting a lot of these diseases that are out here or illnesses and conditions that we deal with. And I'm going to say this, especially our people. We um, consume different foods. We don't exercise. Um, we're, you know, stationary most of the time. And a lot of us don't believe in doing these extracurricular activity. Now, I will say there has been a change in this where um, lots of people are being active because of what has happened. They have had the opportunity to be with their families and do more activities outside. So that has been a plus. But you are, if you are a person who don't move, you are putting yourself at risk every single day because you're not using your body in a positive way. You're not moving, you're not being active. You know, you were made to move, you were made to walk, okay? So now let's go to the third point. Now, the third point is to um, promote a healthy diet. Now, this can be very, very hard for some people starting off. Because like I said before, you're used to eating a certain diet. And you look at that as food. So, if I take your food from you and give you something that's nutritious and filling, um you probably wouldn't like it because it doesn't taste the same it doesn't smell the same and you know you're not used to seeing this type of food but you have to tell yourself when you're going into something like this this is something that i need to do there are ways to spice up your food or brighten up your food to make it taste good now for me myself when i first went vegan the very first time because I've been vegan more than once. I stopped then I went back and I was vegan more than once. The very first time I looked at recipes on YouTube, um, Rachel Emma, I don't know if you know, but she is a vegan and she's a YouTuber who makes all these great, delicious, flavorful dishes. And so I learned how to make some of my dishes from her. Now I'm going to leave the link to her um, channel down below and you can check her out. I feel that this is a great place to get started. So creating some healthy meals so that you can, you know, make better choices is a good place to start. Um, you're going to feel as though you know, I enjoy eating. Why should I stop eating the things that I enjoy? You gotta remember, you are the one building your health and you have to sacrifice some things to get your health to where you want it to be. Now, if you keep on doing the same thing, you're gonna get the same results. You're never gonna change and you're never going to see results. So you have to 
again we're going back to the healthy mindset a healthy attitude towards health you have to constantly tell yourself i need this i can do it you have to deny yourself of something sometimes you know we've been um indulging in a lot of things that are unhealthy and when you present something healthy you get uncomfortable with it so when you're rebuilding your health, some of the foods that you want to introduce into your diet is a lot of fruits and vegetables. I know it sounds, you know, easier said than done, but listen, these things are going to help you. These things are going to help get your body out of this acid and toxic state into a more alkaline state. And this is going to be good for you because now that your body is operating in this alkaline state, it's going to help you to fight off any pathogens and it's going to build your immune system. So if you were to get sick or anything like that, your body will be able to fight for you because you have been feeding your body the correct things that it needs. Believe it or not, Eating plant-based food is what gives your body power. It was it is what gives our body power. It gives our body strength. You will be able to do some things you haven't been able to do before or even better. I know it happened for me. When I started my weight loss, and you can go look at the video of my weight loss journey, I completely left meat alone sugar and um, processed foods and now I just started eating whole foods most of the time my diet was like raw fruits and vegetables now you don't have to go that extreme like I did trust me you can start eating you know these cooked vegetables and things like that but for me this is something I wanted to do because I really wanted to get my body back into a healthy state that it was before. And I've been able to do that and I increased my cardiovascular health where I'm able to run longer than I ever have before. And I'm gonna say it's due to dieting. Dieting, what I eat every day. Now, number four supplements okay i'm talking about herbal supplements here i'm an herbalist so i have to tell you about some herbs that can help you rebuild your health now one of the herbs that i recommend when you want to rebuild your health starting off is burdock root now this is a herb that dr savi used to talk about all the time along with sea moss as well but burdock root in particular is because it basically helps you to detox the blood it removes any type of heavy metal anything that's in your blood that may be toxic it helps with your liver and also your kidneys as well so it helps you flush those things out because it's also a natural diuretic and this is one of the first herbs that I took myself when I was sick back in 2018 or 19. And it really helped me to get my body, you know, back in balance while I was also eating healthy as well. Burdock root is so, so beneficial for an individual, especially if your body is in a toxic state burdock root can help you cleanse your liver cleanse your kidney those things are very important because those organs they help to detox your body um anyway but if those organs aren't um, working properly if they aren't um strong enough then you're not going to be able to remove any of those toxins from your body so I would uh, recommend burdock root. Another herb that I would recommend is sea moss. A lot of us know about sea moss. 
Now, the reason why I'm saying sea moss is because sea moss gives your body all of the minerals that it needs. At least it gives it 92 out of 102 minerals that it needs. However, if you do take um, burdock root, sea moss, and bladder rack together, which I do have on my website called Mineral Balance, it will give your body all of the balanced uh, minerals that it needs. Now think about it. When you're taking sea moss or the mineral balance, right? And you're a person who don't eat all of these good things or you're getting on a plan where you're now eating all these nutritionist foods, you want to take something like sea moss or the mineral balance because it's going to give your body all the minerals that you're not getting from your food. It's going to fill your, your um, body up to intake all of these healthy minerals that's, that's going to help with the function of all of your organs and also your blood. So that is something that I recommend you take along with eating on the proper diet, you know, of healthy foods. So, with this, uh, remember that you must incorporate some type of exercising, walking, whatever, uh, however long you want to walk. You know, if it's an hour, 30 minutes, 15 or 10 minutes a day, make sure you're getting up, you're stretching, you're walking. Now, I know these four things kind of sound simple and you were probably expecting uh, to do more, but honestly, these four things is what you need to jumpstart, you know, your healthy living, healthy um, way of rebuilding your health. Now, if you stick to these things for um, I'll say three months, you'll definitely see a difference in your attitude, your mental health, your body, you'll feel much better. Um, you'll probably feel a sense of joy come over you because you feel so great and you can see the results. Now, if you are a person who wants to go above and beyond that, you can then look into things like um, I guess strength training, building muscle, um, doing more food preps or getting into more organic um, foods or you may want to go completely plant-based. So you can take this further and you'll notice that all of these ailments that you have before, they will start to go away they will start to go away. And a lot of people are surprised by this because they never thought that they can get rid, rid of a illness that they've been having or been living with for so long. Or they've been taking this pharmaceutical drug or whatever they have to um, basically help them live with this disease or illness. Let me tell you, Food is your medicine, and food is what is going to help heal you. But you have to be eating the right and proper food. Now, I hope that this video has brought you a lot of information, and I hope that it has brought you hope as well, because you can do it. I'll do another video as well. I really want to talk about food and how food is is what is going to save our lives these days. This has been another episode of Earth for Health. I thank you guys for watching. Make sure you comment down below, like and subscribe, and let me know which videos that you would like me to talk about. You guys have a good day.